five, seven months after Casey's surgery. There's a reunion near Johns Hopkins. Dozens of children who've had the surgery over the past 10 years gather with their parents. Can you give me 35 cents? It's Dr. Freeman's first chance since the surgery to examine Casey and to talk with Regina. Has Casey forgotten anything? She remembers everything. She can remember things when she was little bitty and will go someplace and she remembers it. We've affected her performance. True. Which is coming back. Right. Yes. Okay. Slowly, but it's coming back. Uh, this isn't slowly. Okay. Slowly is in the eye of the beholder. In fact, just a month later, Casey returns to school for the first time in two years. She's a freshman at Jenks High School. That's good. While Casey will always have some language impairment, no one can say how far she will ultimately improve. She has every expectation of a normal, healthy life. Is it getting any easier for you now when you try to talk? Yeah. But it's still tough, right? Yeah. You know, or, you know. Yeah. Can you think of the word in your mind? Yeah, but I just can't get out. You know the word, but you can't get it out. That's right. And do you, does it get really frustrating? Oh, yes. And what is the most pressing thing on the mind of this 14-year-old? How much do you want to drive a car, Casey? Like, real bad. Your dad said you practice on the golf cart now? Yeah. I'm pretty, pretty good, you know? You're a pretty good driver? Yeah. Do people have to get out of your way? No. No, 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 come on. <laughs> Scientists do not understand exactly how her brain accomplished so much. Most people in neuroscience realize that we don't know anything compared to what we will know 20 years from now. And 20 years from now, we don't know anything compared to what we'll know 100 years from now. After years of caring for her very sick daughter, Regina now faces a dramatic and very welcome change. She needed me to help her get up. She needed me to help her walk in and out of the bathtub. She doesn't need that now. And I, I am thrilled, but there was a part of me that um, maybe I needed to be needed. It says round to the nearest pin. Of course, Regina still helps Casey with her homework. Together, we sit at that table every afternoon, and we'll, we'll do this work, and we'll do whatever it takes. Yay! It's awesome. Yes, it's awesome, girl. Do you ever feel like the Lord is testing you? I feel like the Lord has blessed us. I know she was a perfect child. Maybe I wasn't the perfect mother to have this happen to, but I'd like to think that I've done well through all of it. And I, uh, I give God praise because he brought her through it. She's alive, and I'm thankful. Thankful, even for a simple sentence. We had a really bad rainstorm Monday, and she talked to her dad. She was, oh, Dad, I got drenched today. And I'm going, she got drenched today. Listen to her. I was just amazed. Oh, Colin. She's ready to take on the challenges, and if there were anyone capable of rising to that challenge, I think she's the one. Her faith stabilized us, and um, that's the reason that I tell her frequently she's my hero. She is a hero, isn't she? She's everyone's hero. What we've seen in the first year after surgery is just the beginning for Casey. Her doctors say the changes within her brain, the so-called rewiring, will continue for another five years, and only then will we know the complete extent of her recovery. And now